Hello RC enthusiasts. I just want to show you some recent footage of my maiden flight of my Alien X quadcopter with the MinNASA OSD system installed. To find out more about how I did that, you can look at my earlier videos. Now during this first clip, I want you to look at the uh, gyrations that happen while I'm flying the quadcopter. I later found out this was caused by the gains or the basic gains being set too high for the GJI NASA M light. We have a lift off. It's a little twitchy though. Look out. It's, it's toilet bowling a little bit there. Okay. So to adjust the gains, I use the nice feature of the DJI NASA M light to be able to adjust the gains remotely. So I use this knob on my radio right here, which is actually AUX3. And what I did was I connected the AUX3 channel of my receiver here over to X2 on the DJI NASA so that I could control the basic gains in flight. So I adjusted those and then I just turned down the gains until the oscillations went away. So check out this next clip. Got two receivers going? <laughs> yeah, I do, uh, but this one's not plugged in right now. Huh. Just want to see what it does. Don't want into the tree now. I'm a little jittery. I'm Now you might have noticed I added some nice little landing gear feet to my quadcopter right here and uh, all they are actually is a piece of uh, pipe insulation foam which is uh, just wrapped around the leg of the arm here and what holds it on is actually a uh, water bottle lid with a paper clip going through it, made two hooks on the paper clip like this, and then ran a rubber band around the foot to each clip. Then all you have to do is just uh, do this. And once you get the uh, pipe insulation back on there, you just simply take another rubber band double it up and put it around the top to hold it closed. All right. Okay, you're going to plug in the FPV goggles. Oh, I forgot my power adapter. Oh no. So I can't do it. Okay, got the power adapter now. Got four satellites, but not enough for GPS. 
Okay. Let's everybody stand back. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's bad power. That quick that jumped up. Really huh? Kind of behind you a little bit to the side, actually. Coming down. Coming down. Coming in fast. Oh, that might have messed it up. Now after a crash like that, the feet get kind of uh, knocked out of whack like this, but all you have to do is just put the bottle cap back on and it's good to go again. Yeah, it does. Well, I was kind of like blind to death when I took the goggles off. And I couldn't really see. Hmm. One foot's out of kilter there. So now I have to figure out why it kept popping into manual mode. I had my switch right here in the center which is supposed to be attitude. Manual is forward and GPS is back here. But it was an attitude the whole time yet I kept uh, seeing it go into manual mode and I don't know why. I also like to know why it was only getting four satellites. I never got five or six. Just got four satellites. Not sure why that is. But other than those things, it was a pretty fantastic experience flying this quadcopter.